channel. I am so happy that you're here for today's video. If you've been here for a while, you know that I have been anxiously awaiting this project. Today we are finally doing our beadboard DIY backsplash. And Chad is actually here to just show you guys the ropes. This is actually the first time that we're gonna be using this specific type of beadboard. Um, it's a different material than we're used to. We want something that is gonna be sturdy and easy to clean uh, because it's going to be in our kitchen where we're cooking and baking. So. I'm so excited for this tutorial. I hope you guys love it. If you are new here, I am Sky, and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And we love to share all things home over on this YouTube channel from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. And you probably are noticing the big elephant in the room. I do have a sling on my arm. I had shoulder surgery, so I'm still recovering from that. And we thought this would be just such a great time for Chad to go ahead and uh, just take a hold of a project so that we could have some fun content for y'all and get some things done around the house. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> that I can prep the space to get ready to apply the beef. using a 100% PVC uh, beadboard today. So it comes in these planks. It's got tongue and groove, so it goes together like a shiplap. Because it's 100% PVC, it's waterproof. And since we're going to be using it in the kitchen, uh, that's something we really wanted. And so we'll be able to wipe this clean and uh, not have to worry about it getting ruined. We've been really anxious to change out these outlets and the switches. Uh, the sun has yellowed them over time, so being against that bright white beadboard that's gonna go here, it looked pretty silly, so I'm gonna change these out while I'm at it. Welcome to our little unfinished storage room in our basement. This has been such a blessing to us just to have so much storage in this home, but this space in particular to store some of Chad's tools and paint and just really random things has been so amazing. Um, Chad decided to go ahead since it's winter to use his table saw here in this space. And it's really cool because it has like a vacuum hose attachment. So he is using our whole house vacuum. Um, you could definitely also use a shop vac. Wheels in my 
the most beautiful snowfall. Here in Charlotte, we don't get snow very often. I don't think we got any last year, and typically it's just flurries and they are gone within a couple of hours, but this was such a treat. So we spent the morning just playing in the snow with the kids and enjoying it, and then we picked our project back up in the afternoon. And here you can see Chad showing me the trim pieces that he had picked out at Lowe's. We were just kind of testing those out to see if we liked them, and I really did. I felt like it added just a little bit of character. It was a great finishing piece for these edges, and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So Sky and I debated for a long time the right way to kind of finalize the edge over here. Uh, if we were to cut off at the top of uh, this countertop, it would actually be kind of under this light switch, leaving that kind of silly uh, and, and elevated off the wall. Uh, so we're like, okay, do you go to the edge of the wall? Do you stop early? I mean, we were kind of going back and forth. And what we decided to do is we're actually going to come out all the way to the edge of the wall and go up the wall a little bit and then trim it out up here. That way you get to see more of this exposed beadboard since there's not a lot down below. Okay friends, so a snow day definitely called for just all the cozy things. We really wanted like a comfort meal for dinner. So Chad whipped up some homemade biscuits. I'm telling you this guy is like the jack of all trades. He can do anything. And they were so delicious. This is truly the way to my heart. Like breakfast for dinner, bread, bread, and more bread. <laughs> but. We're cooking on our caraway pants, and I'm going to share them at the end of today's video, but I had to show you just how amazing this pan is. We have a couple of different ones. They're nonstick with absolutely no chemicals, and they are our favorite. Now that I have all of the beadboard in place, 
I went ahead and caulked the seams uh, because it, it's hard, not everything's perfectly uh, level and, and so you're not able to get everything 100% flush and so I've caulked the seams all the way around. We added our trim pieces. Um, just when you add that caulk, it gives it a nice finished look. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put some paint on here. It may, you may not be able to tell on the video, but these are kind of scratched up from the process of cutting and, and cutting out my holes here, and I've got some pencil marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and put a coat of paint on these. Once that's dry, we'll go ahead and add our outlet covers, and it'll be done. Okay, friends, this is our finished kitchen with our completed beadboard backsplash and I think it looks amazing. Chad did an incredible job. This was such an affordable and fairly quick DIY. It took us a whole weekend plus a couple extra hours but only because we had fun in the snow. We were just honestly enjoying and just taking our time and not rushed. This could totally be a one day project if you did it just from start to finish. I am just so excited about our kitchen now and I just truly love all of the character and texture that the beadboard adds. I did want to share some of my favorite products that we have in our kitchen right now. From our dish and hand soap dispensers to this beautiful little kitchen brush that is a new arrival in our shop right now. I'm going to have some items listed down below including this gorgeous picture that is full of character and tons and tons of texture. Texture. This is a new piece and it is absolutely stunning. I knew when I saw it immediately that it had to have a permanent spot in our kitchen. Absolutely love our new electric tea kettle from Walmart. This is Drew Barrymore's new line and it is stunning. There are so many different beautiful appliances that they sell right now. So definitely go and check those out. I'll have that one linked down below. And then I just have an apothecary glass jar filled with some flour and a beautiful wooden scoop. And Right underneath that is our brand new cake stand. This is new to house and home. It's in our shop. It launched today and it is stunning. I love it so much. And over here is a tea kettle that I purchased at one of our antique stores here that is local to the Charlotte area. And I think it just fits perfectly over top of our kitchen stove. I have been eyeing these little mini lamps from Target for the longest time, and so I finally grabbed one to snatch up uh, for our kitchen. I love having soft light in the kitchen in the evenings. I think that it just really makes it feel super homey. I also wanted to share how we trimmed off the beadboard. Now you can see that finished and caulked and painted, and I think that it looks just so beautiful. I have to share this little stool with y'all. This was an Amazon find. We use this in our kitchen, in our laundry room, and the bathroom. Honestly, it travels all throughout the house, but our kids love these. vintage looking off-white kitchen scale is new to our shop as well and I love this piece so much it adds character to any kitchen we are absolutely loving our cafe kitchen appliances our dishwasher recently was delivered and it works so well not to mention it just adds such a beautiful touch to our kitchen and we are just waiting on our wall oven once that one is delivered in the next month or so we will have our complete set 
I also love our kitchen faucet. We have this one here in the kitchen and then we have one very similar by the same brand in our laundry room. It adds just that vintage touch and I just think that it's so beautiful. It's also great quality and it ties in so nicely with the cafe appliances and the hardware that we put on our cabinets. Here are my beautiful caraway home pots and pans. I love these. As I mentioned before, we use them every single day. They are of amazing quality. I'll have them linked down below. I will never buy a different brand of pots and pans. They hold up so well, they wash up even better, and I will forever share them. much for tuning into this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some home decorating inspiration for your kitchen. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. We're going to be doing some laundry organization and I cannot wait to bring you all along. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe and join our YouTube family. Bye friends.